With 18 hospitals spread across the country, the police is set to confront headlong the health challenges of its officers and men. To achieve this, the police medical team is keen on training its medical personnel across board. The Inspector General charged the team to chart a way forward to position the police medical team in discharging their duties professionally. To my understanding, that, that, that police have been sleeping. So we're trying to wake them from their slumber. Because uh, it's, it's on record that uh, with the arrangement of the HMO, we have the number in terms of number. No single organization in Nigeria that is larger than the Nigeria police. Uh, so therefore, if all our officers have been registered as members of the Nigeria Police Medical Services, you find that the competition that will come in is good enough for us to be able to provide anything that is needed in terms of health care and medical services. Our officers don't need even to travel abroad to do their medical tests and even operations to some level. The present operations of the medical team could be improved upon, but the police admits that the challenges are enormous. The medical team leader gave an insight on the way forward. At the moment, the quality is nothing to write on. We still have areas that are doing well, people that are doing well, anyway, but it's not uniform. What is happening in the north or middle, but I mean, people have their own whatever, but we want to establish a standard. A standard that is good, a standard that has quality. Actually, what I want is a world class. So, how do we do it? When you know where you are going, they know how to implement it. And training is very, very key. The Inspector General is sure that every police officer, no matter their place of posting, will have access to medical services across the country. We are building 26, 26, 26 bed cottage hospital in each of the political zone of Nigeria. So in essence, which means everybody has the opportunity, and there is no command today you can talk about without a medical facility no matter how small it is. So if you have in 36 states, and we have one in each of the political zones, it, it, it makes sense that we're making efforts, and we'll get there one day. As the police move to enhance the healthcare services of its officers and men, Nigerians will have to wait to see how this will translate to better policing in the country. Pius Samuel, Core TV News, Abuja.